dude and dudettes. Guess what? Today, we hit 50,000 YouTube subscribers. Well, actually, in this exact moment, we haven't hit it yet, but we're just a few subscribers away. So I know we're gonna hit it today, and I wanna celebrate that by creating a video for you to help you achieve whatever goals you have. But before we do that, um, I thought I would also celebrate by showing you a day in the life. How do we create some fruit water? Fruit water, fruit water, fruit water, fruit water, fruit water, fruit water, fruit water. Fruit water. So, First things first, you want to, you're going to want to find some fruit that you enjoy eating already. Usually water-based fruits are great for fruit water, so I got a little watermelon here, a little sandia in Spanish. Let's just take this bad boy, crack it on open here. I'm not Martha Stewart, but you know, I know how to make myself some fruit water. And what we'll do here is, uh, <laughs> very, very simply enough, we'll just carve out the fruit. Question, why do we talk about fruit water so much? Why do we make fruit water? Why are we obsessed with fruit water? Because we're obsessed with water intake in general. You see, the funny thing is, a lot of people think they have issues with headaches or migraines or just lack of well-being, they just don't feel good. And a lot of people are just dehydrated. It's insane how many people are dehydrated. So, you should be drinking about half your body weight in ounces of water. So I, I weigh around 185 pounds now, so, I'm gonna have about 140, 250 uh, ounces of water per day. And if I don't get that, I know why I won't feel good, right? You can always correlate your water intake with like your mood or your energy level. So if you want more energy, you wanna feel better, just drink more water. Now we got the, the watermelon in, in, the, in the pitcher here. We're gonna get some water. Now we got water in the pitcher with the watermelon. We're gonna sprinkle some ice on here because you know everyone wants some cold water, some cold water, some tasty water. Just make it rain some ice. Give it a little, little stirry stir. It doesn't taste like fruit water yet. You gotta let it sit for a little bit. So this fruit water will sit here for an hour or two. Come back to it, it's gonna taste like watermelon water. Fruit water, baby! Yeah! Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. We are hitting 50,000 YouTube subscribers today. Exciting time. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. No, seriously, thank you, guys. You guys are our motivation every day. You're the fuel that when we wake up and we see these comments, we're just like, we gotta make more videos and we gotta make them even better. Mm -hmm. For sure. Like, for example, today I received like a, I think it was you were in the message as well. It's like a Facebook message from this. I'm gonna read it. I'm read gonna, it. I'm gonna read it. Pull it up. I'm gonna shout you out, bro. Manu Fernandez. Man, I hope you don't mind us sharing this, but you sent it to us, so now you're getting on the vlog. Yeah. All right. He said, hey, Brandon, just wanted to let you know that you and Dan turned my life upside down in the most amazing way I could ever imagine. I used to battle with depression. Things weren't going the way they should. And after breaking up with my girlfriend, after five years, I thought I would go down on a spiral of overeating and procrastination. But then I found you guys on YouTube, and it felt like a gift from heaven. I'm really thankful for the help you provided me with maybe without even noticing. I cannot thank you and Dan enough for helping me change my lifestyle in such a short period of time, right when I needed a transformation, both body and spirit. Thanks again. I wish you guys nothing but the best for your upcoming year. Love, Manuel. Dude, Manuel, thank you, bro. And, you know, 50,000 subscribers is awesome, but each and every one of you, like Manu, like who, sends, who has these experiences is what really, really matters. So again, thank you guys. And now we wanted to take an opportunity because we're gonna be gone, we're gonna be in San Andres, kite surfing and playing on the beach and making a really cool video for you guys on January 1st. So we wanted to do a little New Year's planning, goal setting session with you right now so we could get this out of the way and you could be set for 2017. So I guess I'll start by saying like, how do we set goals? And so dating back to last year, last fall, we really had just no momentum. Like we weren't getting views on the YouTube channel, we weren't getting subscribers, but what we did was we had a vision. We had our buddy who hooked us up with this, this exercise called playing to win. And with this exercise, we said like what we wanted to create, what we wanted our daily lives to look like, what we wanted our business to look like. And then we started to put the action steps in place to make this happen. This is what we did. About a little over a year ago, we were planning out our year and we said we want to hit 50,000 YouTube subscribers by January 1st, 2017. 
Now it's December 8th, or December 28th, 2016, and we are hitting that number today. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. And I don't believe in just the law of attraction by itself and the universe creates these things. It's more about like having your vision and then taking action on it in a systemized way every single day so you create that. And yes, there may be something we don't fully understand about how these things come to fruition. Maybe there's some luck involved. Maybe there's some good grace. But at the end of the day, you have to understand that you are solely responsible for the outcomes in your life. Everything, good or bad, you are responsible. Once we created this goal of 50,000 YouTube subscribers by January 1st, 2017, we started to reverse engineer this. So we put together that big plan for the year of the YouTube audience we wanted to grow. We had some uh, numbers we wanted to hit as far as revenue goes. Uh, we've hit those numbers as well now. And then we also just talked about what we wanted our life to be like. And so to reverse engineer this whole big grand thing we've set up in a year, we chunked it down. And so every three months we created a game plan and in those three months, we had a monthly game plan. And within those months, we had weekly game plans. And then on a daily basis, we had things we had to do every day to take action on. Being able to chunk down every single little sequence along the way is what allowed us to create the results we wanted. It was about knowing exactly where we were going in the long run, but then knowing that we had to chunk big goals into smaller goals that chunk down until the daily goal is like, hey, let's create the best video we can, let's do the best coaching we can, the programs we've created, and all that after a year has created the results that we intended on creating. So now in 2017, we have to set bigger goals and just keep going. What this comes down to is if you write down exactly what you want and you plan it out and you take action on it, you're basically just manifesting exactly what it is that you tell yourself you want. As a special gift from us to you, down in the description, I'm gonna link you to a video we created called the Blueprint, the Zendu Fitness Blueprint. So we want you to create a blueprint for this upcoming year. And usually we used to have this personal development coaching program where we would sell people this program and then they would take action on it. Instead, for you guys, we wanna give it to you 100% free. So we're gonna link it in the description for you below. And so, you know, maybe today or maybe in the beginning of 2017, maybe on the first, you close your eyes as a deep guided meditation. You'll go through this and you're gonna write down what your blueprint's gonna be for 2017. Decide your goals and reach them. Yo, Big D, where we about to go, dog? Hey, man, we going to find, sorry, some typical Colombian food because that's what we've been on, you know, we've been like. We've been on that kick. Yeah, that so. Kick. We're gonna go find some bandeje paisa, which is a typical dish here in not just Colombia, Medellin specifically. Yeah. Um, it is like the perfect, most macro-friendly meal, one of the most perfect ones you can find. Now, I'm not saying it's for, like both guys and girls can, can enjoy this, but I think this meal would resonate a little bit more with our guy crowd, because it's basically, like for Brandon and I as bigger dudes, it's like breakfast combined with all the best stuff. So it's like eggs, beans, sausage, steak, uh, plantains, like some uh, avocado. It's just, it's really, really good. And it's probably like 1,000 to 1,200 calories. Your muscles are gonna be like, dude, thank you. What gets me excited about restaurants is when people dress apart and everyone here is dressed really nicely. Really, really thrilled about this hire, so I'm sure the food is going to be awesome. Oh yes, doctor. How's that, Dan? Fantastic. Always. How you feeling, big guy? Games. 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 Yeah, Brandon. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> All for the shots, baby. <laughs> 50,000 YouTube subscribers, how do you feel? I feel pretty fantastic. I was gonna think of something funny to say there. Honestly, I'm just like super grateful. And I think it's awesome that we manifested this, dude. We said, at the, we said one year ago, 50K subscribers. This year, we, I, I said 500K. Is that what our number is? It's not 500K. 
but I feel like a million now, but 500k, it's a number. I feel like a million I don't believe. Yeah. 500k I believe it. We'll have to come back to it after a San Andreas goal planning session, but 50k man. It's awesome. Call it a night and chill. I just got done with my workout, had a business call, all kinds of juice on life right now. And you probably know from earlier, a lot of it has to do with the fact that we hit 50,000 subscribers because there is something special about setting a goal and then taking consistent action towards it and then achieving that goal. And a lot of times in my life, I've set goals and I've never achieved them. I've never gotten close to achieve them. And so, the lesson for me here is that you're gonna achieve your goals when they feel sustainable, when you're pulled to do something instead of pushed. So that's why we always talk about jump rope and making it a fun part of your fitness routine because if you're pulled to work out every day, if you're pumped to go exercise, if you're pumped to eat the food that you like, you're so much more likely to consistently follow through and do it. But if you have to push yourself, if every day you're struggling to go do that workout and you're like, oh God, I really don't wanna do this, if you always have to push yourself, it makes the process so much harder. And that's what we, we learned throughout this process of growing Zendu Fitness, is that we're now pulled. We're pulled by you guys, the inspiration that you provide for us. We're pulled by creating new content and pushing and striving to create something better every single day. That whole process is so invigorating for us. So find something that's gonna pull you in life, right? Across the board, no matter what it is, whether it's a fitness transformation or some other thing that you wanna achieve in your life, find something that pulls you toward it and then go after it with relentless, relentless, relentless effort, passion, enthusiasm. I'm done talking tonight, guys. I love you. Good night, Zendu Nation. Thank you.